You may have a dog, but why are you always looking for someone to pet your kitty? Let's play FFF, presented by Muscle App. And now, the big dog himself, roo, 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 Mike Mulderig. Thank you, Pablo, and hello, everyone, and welcome to FFF, the connection game based on the questions and experiences from the Muscle app. Before we get started, I want to introduce to you my co-host and personal little Vanna White. Pablo, how you feeling today? I'm great. How and you, you know what, Mike? Thank you for being a friend. Let's talk about our main contestant for today. Would you like to tell everybody your name and where you're from? Absolutely. My name is Tyante Snow. I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm a reality TV personality and the game show guru. Oh my god, I love that. The bar is already set high. Very, very high. We should stay high. Oh my god. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is going to be so much fun. Absolutely. And now to meet our guests. What was your name and where are you from? My name is Alex Gubler, and I am from St. George, Utah. What about contestant number two? My name is Sam Robinson. I'm from South Bend, Indiana, and I think I'm ready to find love today. Oh my god, he's opening his heart. That's one of the things I love being open on a date. Let's talk about contestant number three. Hi, I'm Avery Espinoza. I'm from Hawaii, so I'm an island boy. Well, it's great to meet you all, but now I'm going to explain a little bit about how this game works. Basically, Tayante is going to ask our contestants some questions relating to friend, flirt, and fun. The friend category is that platonic relationship, someone to go bowling with or someone to talk to when you get hurt and cry or those late night hours where you just need a friend. Then you got the flirt category. The flirt category is Mr. Right, the person you really want to have those special moments with, go on dates with, the one that can truly be the one for you in the end. And then the final one is fun. We all know what fun is. It's the person you talk to after 2 a.m. where you won't ever admit that that was actually you. So that's basically how this game goes. <coughs> Once Tayante is finished asking each of you questions related to friend, flirt, or fun, you then get the opportunity to place them in one of those categories. Well, at the same time, you guys can do the same to him. And at the end, we're gonna see whose answers match up. It's kind of like that game you play what is it, um, shag, marry, kill? We've all done that. <laughs> but Pablo, if they're just not feeling any type of connection, what do the players give? Nothing. They have no Fs to give. But you know, we still love you. <laughs> it's OK. We love a castrated queen on the show. Well, I guess I hope you guys have all taken your prep, because we're about to get into it, and we're going in <laughs> raw. So Tayante, why don't you start us off with the first question? Question time. I'm ready to find love. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I so the you. first question is to Alex. What is your favorite reality TV show and why? And you can't pick one I've been on because I've been so many. Go. <laughs> Me neither. Same. I would say I love reality competition shows. So my favorite is called Blown Away. It's not what you think it would be. I've watched that on Sean Cody. It. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but they blow glass and they make these beautiful art and it's it's amazing to watch. It's so Did you fun. say blow ass or blow glass? <laughs> they probably do both, but the show's about okay, blowing glass. Okay, just want to be yes. sure. Just want to let you know when someone says blow glass. That means sometimes, blow ass? And sometimes that could be that could be a party that you didn't sign up for, like a life committing event. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what they call it on the streets nowadays, but I remember I read a book once and it said that. Mike, you read a okay. book? <laughs> Shut up. Sam, same question. Jersey Shore, Snooki is my spirit animal. I love that she's a meatball. She's pretty iconic. Mm -hmm. I hear a theme going, meatballs, balls and blows. OK. <laughs> <laughs> to our last one, Mr. Avery. Ooh, my favorite reality TV show would have to be The Ultimatum on Netflix. I just love the mess of it all. <laughs> that was really simple, Avery. You're kind of boring. You got a mess. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you know, you know, the first two were kind of hot. The last one was like watching Lifetime Movie Network. OK, <laughs> the next question is going to be, what kind of porn do you watch? I'm going to start with Avery, then I give you a chance. OK. <laughs> porn, porn, porn. Give me that browser history. <laughs> yes. OK, so you know, I am kind of freaky. I'm really into that BDSM kind of porn. I like to watch like the dungeon shit, you know, <laughs> like my whips and chains. Oh, dungeons and dragons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. And Sam, what kind of porn do you like? I like porn that looks like it's shot been, it's been shot by an iPhone 
Um, I like homemade stuff. I got an OnlyFans girl. She can make you money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> homemade porn, like homemade pies. Yes, sir. We yeah. like them both. <laughs> okay, and for Alex, what kind of porn do you like to watch? Uh, I have to agree with Sam on this. I kind of like the authentic, genuine type of porn. A little bit out in public, you know, a little. Ooh. 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 I like public porn and okay. missionary position. <laughs> Intimate. Intimate, close, in, <laughs> out, in, out. <laughs> when on a date, what is the one thing you do to tell you or me that you're interested in a second date? I'm very uh, uh, physical, so you'll get a little mm -hmm. bit of little hand mm -hmm. padding here there. and there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you're not catching the hint, then I'll just flat out ask you. And what are you gonna ask me? When are we going on our second date? Forward man. I love rare. it. Right. I love that. He's pushing the button. He's pushing the button. <laughs> yes. When you're on a date, what is the one thing you're gonna tell me? I mean you, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're interested in a second date. You know what? I would say that I am just as forward, but I will also buy you stuff to let you know that I'm interested. Oh my in God. Listen. Oh my yeah. God. He won. Oh, he won. Sorry, we're not playing the game. Wait, show, huh? what do you sorry. buy? What's the budget? Ooh, uh, anything and everything, Daddy. There's no budget. No, there's, there's no budget. budget. But that could be. Go write it down. That could be there's Walmart no or Big Lot. <laughs> Hell, who's talking no budget? <laughs> if you're on a date, how are you going to ask that person that they want a second date? How are you going to do that? I'm going to kiss you, and if you're a good kisser, we're going to go on a second date. And if you're not a good kisser, you're going to know. Oh, you're going to ghost me like Scooby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think I have all the information I need, Michael. Ooh. So, uh, where do you want to go from here? I have some decisions to make. I say let's give you a little bit of a break just because you don't want to go into it too rash. So let's take a quick break, and when we get back, then we can make our final judgments. Well, let's do it. I'm tantalized. We'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Welcome back to FFF. Before we hear about which connections people are feeling, Pablo, tell us about what the players win if they match. If you match as friends, we will pay for an activity for both of you to enjoy. If you match as flirt, then we will pay for a delicious dinner. And if you match as fun, each of you will get a $100 gift card to FM Leather Designs. Real crafted kink. Spicy, I like it. All right, let's do this. I want to know, I got some money on this. Alex, I want to flirt with you. I think he's very attractive from what I'm feeling and seeing, and I think he's on the top of his game. Are you a top? Yes. Top Boom! Verse. Top Good verse. Guess. Top verse. Uh, but, okay, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Our bottom. Alex, what did you say? I said friend. I think you seem like a ton of fun. I think we would have a blast, and I think we need to go to karaoke soon. I'm with it. That's so sweet, but you know what that means? You get nothing. Next. <laughs> what about what you feel for Sam? Fun. We're getting spicy. <laughs> I think Sam is going to be a hoot to be around and a joker. And I think I'm just going to enjoy being around his personality. You better match me. <laughs> Sam, what did you say? Well, if it wasn't the denim on denim that did it for me, it definitely is fun. Oh my god, we got a match! We got a, do we have a buzzer? Is there something? Is there yes. a, we yes. need something. Show them your butt. I don't know what to do. Celebrate yeah. somehow. Show them your butt. Yes. <laughs> we did it, we did it, Sam, we did it. This is something that never happened in the queer community. We found two what? people with common ground. This is amazing. God. Two people are gonna hook up? <laughs> what? Yeah. That never happens. He just, he just seems like he needs his world rocked and I'm here to rock it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't wait. I cannot wait to see that on OnlyFans. Oh. But just because I'm curious, I want to hear about what you felt for Avery. I think Avery be a friend because he reads. <laughs> <laughs> Work. <laughs> Work. So I think books, Avery, friend. Ta-da. Avery, what did you say? You know what? Call me the world's best loan shark because I had 0% interest. 
No Fs for you. No F given? Yeah. What? No Fs given, sorry. Ooh, that was drama filled, but at least we made some connections today. Thank you all for tuning in today. Thank you everybody back home. Thank you all the contestants for your great job. We will see you next time.